Hey, I'm Vlad with Glow Marble, and I'm going to show you how to make a rock textured capstone out of concrete. All the tools and materials are in the description below, let's get right to it. I cut up this 8 foot countertop edge form and put 45 degree angles into each cut to make sure that everything fits nicely into a square shape like this in the corners. Then I cut up some old pieces of melamine to use as the frame and now we have to disinfect everything with alcohol. I'm doing this to make sure that there's no debris that can ruin the look of our stone and also at the same time to make sure that I have a really good bond for this double side tape to stick on and not come off. And don't forget to clean the back of the mold also because you're going to need that surface completely disinfected and having a good grip for that tape too. Now we're going to take this double side tape and stick it on. And then we stick some more right on top of that, but make sure those two strips don't overlap. And next you take this little bit that's hanging over the tape and just cut that off flush I cut this box down a little bit smaller off camera and now it's time to actually assemble it. Now I'm going to take this pink protective tape off of the double side tape. You can see it's not actually the sticky part, it's still on there. Now you take those pieces which you cut up and you stick them onto that board. And you have to make sure that you really rub the back of this mold over here on this side, the shiny side, with alcohol because otherwise it's not going to have that good of a bond to that tape. Now notice in this corner we don't exactly have the best seam and we're going to fix that with some caulk. And then we just take a paper towel and dab it in there to try and make a stone texture. This thing doesn't cure in a while so you have all the time in the world to make this as perfect as you want it to be. Before mixing up any of the concrete, we're going to take some G1 mold release and spray it into our mold. We're going to mix up two parts sand, one part cement. So the last thing we want is a soupy, really wet mixture. We want something more like this. For this application, my water dosage was only 20% of the cement weight. My total concrete cast is 30 pounds. I use 10 pounds of cement, so that means I'm gonna use two pounds of water. Now we're gonna dump this concrete out into here, start packing it in. Be sure to pay extra attention into those corners and really pack it in there so you don't have any imperfections because you're trying to get that rocky texture. That's going to be the best part of this capstone. Next thing you want to do is take a trowel and start making a peak.
I waited a bit and now I know I'm sure that I'm ready to stamp because when I touch it, nothing's left on my finger, but I can still move the concrete around. I'm gonna use our liquid stamping release agent and spray it onto the mold. And also I'm gonna grab this tiny little skin mat that you can find in the description below and spray that release onto it also. Next step is you grab it, start stamping. So it hasn't fully cured yet, but it's pretty stiff and I could demold these right now and make production go by really, really quick. Now once it's fully cured, you can leave it the way it is or put a stain on there, which is what I'm gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is mix up some SCR, which is a concrete degreaser. It's gonna clean the surface off of any debris that you don't want on there. All of that residue from the, um, from the release agent and also it's gonna open the pores up inside of the concrete so that all the stains and all like the additives that I'm gonna put later are gonna really seep into those pores in the concrete. First you pour regular water on it, get it wet. And now I'm gonna take some domino stain and put it on here. So the cool thing about these water-based stains is that you can move them around with water later if you don't like the way that it looks. When you're working with stains, you have to put on a sealer to make sure that those colors don't get eroded by any type of rainwater or uh, UV radiation. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, shoot us a like, we'll really appreciate it. Maybe even check out some of our other videos and consider subscribing. I'm Vlad with Glow Marble, take it easy.